Good afternoon guys. I am here with a junk journal flip through. Um, this is a paper bag journal. <clears throat> I believe this is approximately, um, not the exact size, but approximately the size of a traveller's notebook journal um, or a notebook, traveller's notebook insert. It is approximately eight and a quarter inches long, tall height. Um, which is 21 centimetres and approximately four and a quarter inches wide which is 11 cent 11 centimetres wide like I said I believe I've been told that it's very very close to a traveller's notebook size insert so <coughs> you may be able it is all one it's sewn together so but you you know you may be, be able to use this as an insert um <coughs> But yeah, this is, um, like I said, a paper bag journal. It's been made, the cover's been made out of a paper bag. And then it's been put together <laughs> with various things. The front cover has been layered up with various digital uh, digital prints. This main part here on the front is an Ephemeras Vintage Garden tag. Um, this little bit here... This row of flower bit here strip is from um, Artie Mays. And then these three here in the background have come from kits from um, a shop on Etsy called Tinker and Co Digital. Um, but yeah, so there we go. And I will get inside. This one I have actually, normally I leave this inside pocket open, but I've actually glued it shut. Um, <clears throat> and if we open it up like this and just clip, you know, keep that together, can you see? This is all one piece of paper that I have just cut in half and put half in the front and half in the back. And this is a um, printable a free printable from a, a website called um, Picture Box Blue. I will link below. Um, but yes, yeah, so Picture Picture Box Blue. Um, beautiful images. And then, like I said, it come inside comprises of different kits. This is one from Andrea Artie Mays. Um, these have all been, I believe, tea dyed. Yeah, these have all been tea dyed, and then I printed on them I put them through the paper there was tea dyed first and then I I run them through the printer to print on the reverse of them so you know um, this is from Tinker and Core Digital apologies for the noise in the background it's been day um, again this is one from Tinker and Core Digital let me just have a plain one another one from Tinker and Core Digital Although Andrea at Artemis has a few very similar to that. Um, this one, I believe it is an Ephemeras Vintage Garden one, but it could also be a Tracy Fox. I'm not 100% sure, I apologise. I'll link to both below just in case. Um, but yes. And then in the middle, I have used a smaller paper bag to create the pocket in the middle you can yes it'll fit in um, <clears throat> you can use that as a pocket on both that side and this side like so I just haven't created any tags or anything to go in there and then I've used off cuts from the printable from Tinker and Core Digital I've just you know rough just where it's torn I've just glued it down the side and at the bottom to create two inside pockets this is also a Tinker and Co digital print and um, these are ephemeras vintage garden tags <clears throat> um, this is part of what was left from that side actually um, see it's come off the bottom yes it's actually come off the bottom there you know it won't line up because of the signature oh actually yeah I probably can line it up there 
no, there, sorry. <laughs> Not easy trying to line this back up. But it's come off the bottom of here anyway, there we go. Um, yeah, it's it's come off the bottom of there anyway. It was just the off cut, so, you know, but rather than throw it away, it's a nice pretty image. I was going to use it as a pocket across the bottom of there actually, but then I changed my mind, so I just fold it in half and put it in. Added it in for you guys to use as a bit of extra journal space. Again, two tags from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Um, and then this is just a piece of um, the three pieces of Tinker and Co. Um, no, Tinker. Yeah, Tinker and Co. digital pieces of papers. And um, onto a bit of cardstock and then some tea dyed paper on the back. It's just just a bit of scrap that I had left over it's quite solid actually but oh, just a bit of extra journaling space anyway and then we are repeated on the back so there you go <coughs> and there's the back page um, you can't do it on the front because I have glued it shut down here and that's there but on the back if you wanted to you could just slice down there with a craft knife or with your scissors which would then open the back of this up to create a pocket um, but yes and there you go guys so that's this one it is <coughs> excuse me one two three four five six seven eight pages um yeah um, eight pages, so double that makes 16 pages front and back there, 16 pages front and back there, that's 32 pages in total, including fronts and backs. So you got like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and then sixteen on that side, front and back. You could even write on this paper bag there, you could even take that out and journal on there as well as the backs of the bits of tag ephemera that's in there for you guys um but yeah so like a 32 page journal which is at least a month a month's worth maybe some couple of notes page and um, well a notes page depending how many months days there are in this month the month you choose to use it oh my gosh i'm sorry words are failing me today um but yes yeah, so i just thought i'd pop on and share this with you and to let you know that um if you are watching this video, this journal is now available in the Etsy shop and links are below. So please go check it out. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.